Hello everybody. Today's lesson is going to be on filtering and bottling maple syrup. So uh, a couple of weeks ago we finished up bottling our uh, maple syrup at school, but we didn't have any more nice bottles like this. So we had to take our bulk syrup and bottle it up in mason jars. Well, mason jars are great, um, but these are just a little bit easier for selling the syrup. Plus, some of our mason jars didn't seal. So if you listen to this one, all right, when the top of the mason jar can bubble like that, that means it's not sealed. So this wouldn't last out on the countertop. This would have to be refrigerated. So we're going to put the syrup in some bottles so that they can be more shelf stable and can be stored outside of the refrigerator for a longer period of time. So to do this, we've got a few steps. The first thing we had to do is we have to sterilize our bottles. So these bottles have been rinsed out and they are all now in a pot of hot water sterilizing. We're also sterilizing our lids back here and we're reheating our syrup. Now we don't want to heat the syrup back up to boiling because what that would do is it would change the density of our syrup. See our syrup was taken off at just the exact right density, um, the right percentage of sugar, which is 67%. So we don't want to change that by evaporating any more water out. We don't want our syrup to change texture because if it gets um, too high in sugar percentage, we'll start to see sugar crystals actually forming in our syrup. And if it's not the right sugar percentage by being too low, then it's not able to legally be sold as syrup. So we don't want to change our density, but we, we want this hot enough that we almost like quote unquote pasteurize our syrup. So this needs to be between 180 and 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So Aubrey, come over here. Let's check our temperature to see where our temperature of our syrup okay. is right now. Okay, so I've got this temperature probe from school, so we're going to get a really scientific reading. Come over here to our screen. And let's see what it, it says. says. 180 rising fast. Rising fast. Okay, so now it's 190. 190. So okay. this would be just the right temperature. Just the right temperature. Okay, so we're ready to pour this in. So what we're going to do is take this off of the stove. And bring it over here. And we're going to pour it into our filter. Now here's our system. We have a thin filter and it goes inside a thicker filter. The thin filter is gonna get the big grit and then the thick filter is gonna get the fine grit. So Aubrey and I are gonna take a little break. We're gonna start pouring this syrup into the filter here and we'll come back in just a little bit. Go. Okay. So what we're doing now is we're going to go ahead and get our hot clean bottles out of our pot. So what I'm doing is using a set of tongs and I'm going to reach in and pour one out. out of the bottle. Pour the water out. Okay, and then just grab it with my towel. And again, the reason we heated the bottles up was to kill off any bacteria that might have been in there. Now, the next thing that we're going to need in order to do this is we're going to need a funnel. All right, so we've got a couple of different options. We have this nice little rubber funnel that's a collapsible funnel that we're going to use today. You could also use a metal funnel, you could use a plastic funnel. Um, there's a lot of different nice funnels out there. So what we're going to go ahead and do with our funnel is we're going to position it right underneath of our ball valve. And again, we've already poured hot syrup into here. And now we're going to start filling up our bottle with this hot syrup. So you can see it's just coming out kind of at a little trickle. Aubrey, if you want to come up here and kind of get the overhead view. All right, so we just have our syrup coming out at a little trickle here. Going down in the funnel. Just going down. All right, now when things are hot, they expand and they take up a greater amount of uh, volume. So we want to fill this pretty close to the top because as this cools, it's going to decrease in volume. Now we have a big green bowl on the bottom. Why do we have the big green bowl on the floor there, Aubrey? Because if any syrup spilled out by mistake, we, it wouldn't stick onto the floor and get it all sticky and messy. So we have the big green bowl down there to catch any loose syrup. That's right. We have the big green bowl there to catch any loose syrup that would spill on the floor. So what we're going to do now is take a spoon and we're going to fish Mama. out one of our hot caps. Mama. What ready? Dump the hot water out. Can you help? Can you help? Yeah, you can help in a little bit. I'm going to screw the cap on. And now we have a safety cap. See, just like the ones you'd get at the grocery store. It has a little safety cap there so that when we uh, sell these, people will know if they've been used or not or if they've been opened or not because that safety seal will be broken. 
Now we don't have to uh, put this back into the hot water like we might if we were going to bottle up something like, or you know, can up something like jam. We can just set this out on the table, but um, there is a nice completed bottle of syrup. Now the other cool thing that you can do with syrup is you can grade your syrup. So you can give your syrup a color grade. And we're gonna show you how to do that in just a second. Okay. So what we've already done here is we've already bottled up six bottles of syrup from our first batch of syrup that we put into the filter. And we have a little bit left over in this bottle. So this is what we're going to use to grade our syrup. So to sell syrup to the public, um, one of the things you have to do is you have to label it. And it has to be labeled with a grade. Now the USDA has three grades for maple syrup. They are golden delicate amber rich and dark robust and what we have here is a syrup grading kit so these are little jars that do not contain syrup what what they have in them though is a liquid that's going to give you a texture similar to syrup and they are colored to match the darkest color allowable for each of these three grades this jar that comes with your syrup kit is going to be filled up with a sample of syrup from the syrup that you've just bottled and what you're going to do is take this jar, put it in that cell, and then you're going to hold this up to the light, and you're going to try to figure out which color most closely matches up with the sample that you had. So remember, the color in the jar is the darkest color allowable. So Aubrey, can you get a good shot of that with the light in the background? Um, sure. Okay, so what you can see is that our sample right here, this is our syrup, is darker than this. This is golden delicate. So but we're going to is... take golden delicate away and we're going to move amber rich right next to it. Now, you look at, it looks pretty amber close rich. to amber rich, doesn't it? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to label these bottles of syrup as amber rich because that's what color they came out to be. Now, on our label, here's what we have to include we have to include the name of the product, which is pure maple syrup. We have to say who it was produced by. We have to give a what's called an a, a address or a contact of accountability. So that's right here. This is our address for the school for the Zane Trace FFA. We have to list the ingredients. Now, the only thing listed is 100% pure maple syrup because that's all that's in here. We don't add any coloring. We don't add any sweeteners. Sometimes people think they do, but they don't. Um, the only thing that's done to maple syrup is water is removed from the sap. And you also have to put, this is very important, the volume of the container in both the imperial system and the metric system. So this is the imperial system, the 8.0 fluid ounces. And then this is the metric system, 237 milliliters. And on the back of this, we're going to write what? What was our grade, Aubrey? Um, go, uh, amber rich. Amber rich. Amber rich. Grade A. All right, now we're ready to label our syrup bottle. So we're just going to tie this right here, and this syrup is ready to sell. That's it. That's how you bottle, grade, and get ready to sell your maple syrup. Till next time, see ya.